How to move out but not break up. I, 28 female, lived with my boyfriend, 27 male, in his house with his two guy roommates for seven months now. It hasn't been easy because I was used to having my own place and privacy. I'm a very introverted person at home and he very much keeps it like a party house, expected me to party with his friends. This caused us to fight a lot and he shut me out emotionally. Every time we fought he'd break up with me and I'd panic about finding a place to live. I have no place to just crash I'd have to get an apartment again. Financially it terrified me. We got into a disagreement about how I didn't feel affection from him and he ended things. I rushed out to look at apartments and got approved for one. When I told him, he seemed sad and shocked that I even actually did it. After a few long civil talks we agreed we still wanted to work on our relationship while living apart again. Is this possible or is this the end? Too long did not read. Lived with boyfriend and his roommates which caused tension and fights. I just got my own place. Are we done or is this healthier for us? Is this possible? In general, yes. But when you're dating a profoundly unhealthy, harmful person, he shut me out emotionally. Every time we fought he'd break up with me. No. You are too old to try to make things work with a guy who behaves like this. Move out, move on, savor your peace and quiet. Yeah it's possible but why? The second you move out you'll probably find you're a lot less interested in trying to maintain it. Your past posts suggest you're not over your ex and that you're clinging to this relationship as a sense of comfort, but nothing more. I, 30F, have been where you are and the other side is so much brighter. There is a guy out there who will love and support you for you. This guy doesn't seem to be that one. Don't let being lonely push you into a relationship that doesn't bring out the best in you. Possible. You don't always have to live together in a relationship. You are different. That's okay. You're 28. Please find yourself a man, stop wasting time on this boy that likes to party and breaks up with you when you have a fight and doesn't fulfill your emotional needs. I'm 27 female engaged to a 33 male, and girl let me tell you he is so mature, owns his own house, we never fight we only ever have calm disagreements we can talk it out and easily resolve, he treats me so damn good and would do anything for me, the list goes on. Please go to this new apartment and find a better relationship. This is the end, but it's not a bad thing. You got a good break, take it. This is 100% about control, his control over you. He only got sad because now that control is gone. If you continue a relationship with this person that's your business but make sure it's on your terms, don't give him a key, don't give him access to anything financial and you can say no to anything you want. Why must all these things lead to ending? Can it not be possible, that two people can get better emotionally together? Yes, move out but stay in the relationship. Work it out like adults. It should never had become an argument, it'll be painful, and it may not even feel right at first, but for your well-being end it. Any person that breaks up with every time you fight has issues. This should be a rule breaker for everyone. Unfortunately you have to be selfish until he gets his shit together. You can't argue about something and go back out with the person but never resolve the issue. He's not where he needs to be in regards to you. It's best for both of you if you leave. No matter how hurt he is or how difficult, it's the best move. Honestly you'd be better off cutting all contact with him. A boyfriend who is actually serious about you and a healthy person wouldn't break up over small arguments, he's manipulative. As someone who went through a very similar situation, I recommend not pursuing this relationship any further. Delaying the inevitable. Get your own place and keep it. Yal can date while you're there. You go home every night no matter what. So does he. If he wants to live together again, let him buy a ring and pay for a wedding. He doesn't get to move his guy roommates into your marriage house. But honestly, it seems like he's still playing the field and not ready to settle down. Time apart can bring clarity. Sounds like the relationship is over already. Tell him how you feel and he should understand especially with his roommates and all. Sounds like you both will be wasting each other's time by continuing the relationship. Move out and move on he's stuck in party mode. You've matured beyond that stage. The way he treats you is not right. Hey yo your boyfriend is holding the relationship hostage by threatening to end it all the time. Maybe he is putting on a show for the boys. Maybe he is actually abusive and to be clear abuse doesn't have anything to do with intentions. Talk to him about this in private, if he is unable to even have the conversation then I would keep it cool and gtfoasap. It won't get better. I typically say no because he broke up with you several times over disagreements and that's a location flag but if it's mutual for you both to want to live apart and work on it I say go ahead. 
Sometimes taking steps back is necessary and breaking up isn't always the go-to answer. Maybe someday when you both decide to move in together with O roommates and he can respect that you're introverted it can be better good luck. No one who loves you would use the roof over your head to play power games. It's emotional abuse and I hope you are aware of that. He breaks up with you over minor inconveniences. It sounds like the relationship isn't really worth saving to me. You need to think about whether this is actually a relationship you want to salvage. Is this what you want for the rest of your life? When someone shows you who they are, you need to believe them. Sounds like he didn't expect you to call his bluff. Move on and enjoy your solitude and freedom in your new place. This guy sounds really immature. The better question is why don't you want to break up? From introvert to introvert, just live on your own. You already know it's better. Sounds like he was kind of calling your bluff too and you followed through. My boyfriend's sister and her husband lived apart while married due to some arguments. It didn't last too long and they've since made up and are thriving together. I think sometimes people just need space. Although, they were high school sweethearts and neither ever experienced living on their own, so it did make a lot of sense. His behavior is very childish. Constantly breaking up with you, knowing that you have nowhere else to go, is just not okay. Now that you followed through, he wants you back. You will keep getting stuck in a cycle of similar behavior. Try to work it out if you want to, but he doesn't sound very mature or caring towards you. If you want marriage and kids and want to live with this person while having those things leave him. In general, yay this is possible. But it seems your boyfriend lacks emotional intelligence and empathy. Do you really want to be with someone who doesn't meet your needs? Move out and break up. What he's doing is not healthy for you. Just talk to him about it and if he's a dick then it's his loss. My girlfriend and I decided to live apart again after more than two years of living together. We had issues in our relationship that were really only related to sharing a place, tidiness, house responsibilities. After she moved out our relationship improved dramatically. That being said, it sounds like you've got issues in your relationship that likely won't be solved from living apart. This is great and normal and adult. Moving out will either help the relationship or help you end the relationship. Staying there will only help end the relationship. You have two options here and moving out is the only choice. You really won't know for sure until you've moved out. Think about it. If you're ever gonna get married or have a place just purely you two, this is just going to reoccur again. It's not worth it. The fact that he was shocked is pretty weird I think breaking up is better. Every time you fight he breaks up with you. I think you need to make sure the next breakup is permanent and find yourself a better guy. Why move out and not break up when you should do both? Why put yourself through the emotional toil of being with someone who every time you have a disagreement breaks up with you? And then is confused when he does it again and this time you act as though you were broken up and move out. Sounds like an A-grade manipulator and you should ditch him. I was sort of in a similar situation except instead of roommates, it was with my partner's parents. Lots of self-doubt prevented me from moving out until I finally had the last straw and actually moved out. I got a better job to help pay the bills but I know there are always sites like Facebook or roommate apps to find a roommate I prefer in order to afford a place to live. Trust me, it will be the best decision you made in your life. You get a peace of mind, your roof your rules, and no more stress. You can focus on better things. I hope your relationship goes well. Mine definitely did after I moved out. Honestly I think you, should, be done. But if you are not sure then maybe rather than, working on your relationship, i.e. talking about feelings and rehashing the past, you should maybe suggest being just friends only for a couple of months. This removes the pressure, expectations from the relationship so you can go back to spending time together only when you want to instead of being obligated to, party, etc. At the end of two months sit down and both decide if you want to date again. Going cold turkey is hard. Friendship with the option of getting back together is a less drastic action. It's definitely possible, however, I am 99% sure it is going to fail in your case. Breaking up and getting back together after every little fight is not a good thing in a relationship. Why do you want to be with someone who is so emotionally abusive? He always breaks up with you to win fights. That's not someone you'll ever have a healthy future with. Breaking up or threatening to break up ruins the trust and safety that humans need in relationship. This is a waste of your time. Yes, it can work, but if he's breaking up with you every time you disagree he's being an emotionally manipulative immature child. Instead of working on your issues he ends the argument by ending the relationship, forcing you to panic and house hunt. 
You 1000% need your own place. You do not 1000% need this man. He sounds awful. And you sound, understandably, utterly miserable with him. Go find yourself a new apartment. And enjoy living in your nice, quiet, clean home without any overgrown frat boys. Don't be with a guy who threatens to break up over every little fight. Honestly I think it might be time to move on. Also you are moving into a new space maybe it is meant for you to have this new beginning without him. I wouldn't stay with someone who used breaking up with me as a manipulation tactic to win an argument. Which it sounds like he does. It's emotionally exhausting and not worth it. There's a better match for you out there. Please dump him that is so manipulative of him to just break up with you when it's inconvenient to him. You need to set boundaries and put your emotions and feelings into play. I know it seems harsh but life is better without a manipulator in it.